going into your senior year, move from linebacker back to DN where you played in high school. What's that adjustment been like for you and what's the biggest challenge? Uh, it's been real fun, you know, just getting back to what I did in high school. Nothing too big, like like I said, just getting back to what I was doing in high school. Biggest thing is really just like working on my fall steps since I've been at linebacker, you know, I can kind of like, you know, take a good fall step, but playing DN, you can't take a fall step, I just got to work on my get off and that's probably the biggest thing I got to work on my get off. But everything else has come natural since I played in the high school. How much bigger are you than last year? Uh, I gained probably 15 pounds. I was probably 235 when I played Mike Backer, but now I'm like 250. So I'm, I'm a lot leaner too, so I was probably like 14% body fat when I was 235, but now I'm like 12% body fat. Coach Shrew got me right in the offseason. Are you more comfortable on one side or the other, or could you flip from one end left to right and back and forth? Uh, I feel more comfortable playing in the boundary because I can stand up, I can see everything. So I feel comfortable on the boundary and standing up. I, I don't think I want to move to the to the wide side of the field just yet until I learn the plays at the end yet. Uh, learn the plays at the end soon. How different are the calls and the and the coverages when you're in there as a D lineman instead of a linebacker? Um, playing D line, I have to focus on the tackle more instead of looking at the receivers and the coverage. So I'm basically not even worried about the coverage. I'm basically pass rushing, reading the tackle, and just spilling, blocking off the linemen so the linebackers can make the plays. What was your reaction when you found out you're going to be wearing number 23 this year? Man, I was I was speechless. Like I didn't know what to say. Me and Jackson Mitchell and Zell Minor, we were just talking before they announced it, like who we thought we were going to get it. And um, once once my picture popped up, I didn't know what to say. I was just speechless. We got Mr. Levias on the phone, and that's how she wrote. Can you tell us a little bit about what you and Jerry Levias said when you talked? Oh, uh, he just told me to keep my head up. You know, uh, wearing the number is a big deal. So just represent the team well. And uh, I, have, I didn't get a chance to talk to him that long, but I'm gonna give him a call probably probably next week before the game. Does it change your approach at all? What does it mean to you to wear that number? Man, like I said, I'm speechless. It just. That's all I've been working for, you know, like in the past years, I feel like I've matured a lot now. And by getting this number, I'm going to just take it to a whole other level. Coach Morris has been saying through the offseason, the defense has to be better this year. What do you see from camp that gives you confidence the defense will improve this year? We're a lot we're a lot older now. I feel like we got a lot of veterans like Jackson Mitchell, Darian Malines, Justin Lawler, we're all vets in the game, so the game will come a lot easier to us. So once we get out there, we just be able to play fast and run to the ball and, and give all, all we got since it's like really our last year as far as the senior goes. How much do you know about North Texas's offensive line? I know they got a guy. We had Sam Rice. That's all I know right now. We haven't gotten to the game plan yet, but I can talk more about that next week as we get our game plan books.